asked about all the high water rescues in the New Bern area of North Carolina. CNN's Ed Lavendera is there right now. Ed, uh, tell us about the rescues that you've been seeing today. Hi, Jake. Well, here in New Bern, North Carolina, through torrential downpours, we've seen uh, scenes reminiscent of what Hurricane Harvey was like in Houston a year ago, where the citizen volunteers, rescuers have uh, poured into this city with their own boats to try to help people whose homes have quickly taken on water here since the storm has come ashore. One of those people here is Michael Everett, who drove down from an hour and a half away uh, to, to put his boat in the water. You, how many people have you pulled out today? Uh, probably between five and six. We only been down here about an hour or two. Right. So, um, you know, and you got some of them folks that are kind of, hey, we don't want to leave old timers and stuff like that. But, you know, what do you do? Right. You, uh, Michael just came out of this neighborhood you see behind me, and you were telling me that there's still a number of people back there who refuse to come out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know how they are. You know how some people are, the old timers, they kind of want to stick around and ride it out. But I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do, you know, with not knowing how much, many more days this is going on. So. And how deep has the water been in the places you've seen um, in this particular neighborhood? We kind of run into some spots probably between four and five to even ten foot deep back there. Wow. Do, do you sense it coming up or coming down? Uh, or? Well, we stayed back there probably 15, 20 minutes. As a matter of fact, the rain got so bad that we got under a carport back there. and We probably stayed under that for probably four or five and... Within four or five minutes, it probably rose an inch or two. You live an hour and a half away. You drove down here to do this. What made you do it? Well, I've lived through Hurricane Floyd and got flooded and had four foot of water in the house. And uh, I really feel for these type of people because it is it, 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 this is a terrible situation. Excellent, excellent. All right, well, keep up the great work. Thanks for your time. Michael right. Everett, who you heard, Jake, uh, came down an hour and a half away to be a part of this. The mayor here says that a little more than 300 people have been rescued from their homes so far today. And the mayor says that uh, so far they still have perhaps like another 40 or so uh, that want to be rescued. Uh, but as you heard Michael here uh, say, Jake, uh, there are some people who still refuse to leave their homes even as the floodwaters continue to rise. Jake? A remarkable story. Uh, Ed Levandera, thank you so much.